I watched a video this week, a documentary about a man called Nikola Tesla. Now I've written about him in my books over the years and uh, read a great deal about him. But to mainstream society, he is a kind of a, a figure that you probably wouldn't have heard of if you weren't into this kind of information. Because he was a Serbian who was uh, born and brought up in what is now Croatia. And he was a genius. He was way ahead of his time. Uh, but some of the things that he came up with and their uh, potential applications were not what the system, the cabal, wanted. And so they, in effect, destroyed him. But looking at his life and what has happened since is very instructive, both in the way that it shows how far ahead of his time he was, but also in the way that some of his understandings of reality and how to work with it and make it serve your purpose, how that today is being used in a very malevolent way. Tesla was born in 1856 and he died in a New York hotel room in 1943, officially of a heart attack. And despite all the amazing things that he developed and was responsible for, including today's uh, electrical system, uh, he ended up dying a, a penniless in effect. And he had many uh, ideas, many um, trains of research and themes of research that were going on when he died and information and documentation of other research that he'd done in his life. Uh, he died at the age of um, uh, 86, so he lived a long life. And these uh, documents and uh, this research material was seized when he died uh, by the FBI. And there have been many suggestions and a lot of speculation about what was in them and what information the authorities therefore gleaned from these documents. But what can be said is that so much of the high-tech developments, not, in, not least in the um, realm of wireless communication, was actually first instigated, first perceived by Nikola Tesla. And to, to go beyond the concrete-like limitations of mainstream science, um, you have to think differently. In fact, you have to go beyond thinking, beyond thought. It, thought is a very low level of uh, intelligence and perception. Very low. Oh, he's got a great mind. Oh, really, I am sorry. What we need is not even a great, but an open, expanded awareness, consciousness, which allows us to go beyond, if you like, five sense thought, to tap into the realms of infinite awareness, infinite knowledge, infinite inspiration, which is why great scientists like Tesla talked about the fact that they used not their mind so much for their great insight, but their intuition. Intuition, intuition doesn't come from the head. 